building the road from Oslo to Trondheim started 400 years ago. The road passes the Sinsen farm. Sinsen Crossroad was established in 1870. The traffic was dominated by transport of timber and building materials to rural areas. The farmers in the valley delivered farm products to the town. I had my childhood in this house 200 meters from the crossroad that was part of my neighborhood until I left in 1952. Next to the main road there was a small jungle where we played Tarzan. It also happened that we discovered a drunk asleep in the bushes after a humid day at the races. In the corner near the railroad, a small kiosk was set up by enterprising railway housewives. In the middle of the intersection, there was a round kiosk with separate restrooms for taxi drivers, and two stalls with payphones. There was also a large modern petrol station by the main road. A great horse trough provided fresh running water for horses on the long road up the hills from town to the farms. In 1957 the intersection was converted into a large modern roundabout. In this extensive project the tram route from Sinsen was extended and laid under the roundabout. The scenes from the construction period show some of the bridges. When car sale was free after the war, traffic increased quickly and the roundabout was constantly blocked by queues. In 1960 I started as traffic engineer at the Oslo Town Planning Department. In 1962 a colleague and I were assigned to conduct a traffic analysis of the intersection for the city council. I wrote an article about the analysis in the renowned British magazine Traffic Engineering and Control, the analysis pointed out that in Norway drivers must give way to traffic from the right, even when driving in roundabouts. During rush hours the cars therefore easily stop and create a queue. Introduction of yield signs at the entries will ease the traffic and reduce the queues. In January 1963 police proposed as a trial, priority in the roundabout. In April same year the town presidency and director of roads sanctioned the proposal. But it would take two years before legal approval was in place, and the signs could be introduced. This was the first modern roundabout in Norway with yield at all entries. A research project some years later gave five roundabouts the right of way for all entries to the roundabout. Based on the good experience a general yield at roundabouts was introduced around 1980 and the number of roundabouts in Norway increased dramatically. But the conclusion was that to increase the capacity of the intersection that matters, it had to be rebuilt to two-level intersection. A bridge for Trondheim Road was built over the roundabout in 1970, and this improved traffic capacity. But traffic increased and the queues returned. In 1994 the intersection was converted into three planes, when the ring road with four lanes was brought under the roundabout. Memories of childhood and subsequent development of the intersection made me write a poem many years ago. Sinson Crossroad, oh Sinson Crossroad. Thousands upon thousands of cars. Rush through the traffic maze. Ramps over, under, in all quadrants. A gigantic melting pot. For people and cars. Sinson Crossroad, oh Sinson Crossroad. Who remembers your happy past? Once a stony road, horses and wagon wheels. And a kiosk with magazines in your midst. There were days of charm and tranquility. And running water in stone trough.
This is Norway's most busy intersection. More than 100,000 cars pass it every day.